Hey guys, today I want to help you find your perfect sensitivity. Now finding your perfect sensitivity can be difficult because of two main factors. One, you need to find a sensitivity that's very consistent for you at long range, close range, and whatever you're doing. The other reason is that you're going to have to use a sensitivity based upon your role, or the role you want to play. Now let me show you a quick example of that. Let's say there's a guy here at this corner, and here at this corner. And you're going to have to clear right side and then left side. My current sensitivity is 1.7. I'm going to come out here, check to the right, and check to the left. Now you can see I couldn't quite see to the left. Now while that wasn't exactly terrible, it's still not quite good. Let's try increasing it to 1.9. Okay, so I'm going to check to the right and check to the left. That worked a lot better. I was able to completely check the left and the right side with a sensitivity of 1.9. In my opinion, as an entry rifle, you're probably going to want to have a sense that's no lower than 1.9. Still though, that doesn't mean you're going to always have to have a sense that high. If you're a sniper primarily, then you can definitely get away with far less. In fact, there are snipers such as Guardian that use a sensitivity of 1.3. Because as a sniper, you're probably going to be hitting long-range targets, and it's far more important that you actually hit them, rather than with a rifle where you can take multiple shots. This can also be said with the USP at long ranges. Lower sensitivity will help you make sure that you hit those targets, those pixel-perfect targets. Now, back to testing what kind of sensitivity you should have. So we're going to break this down into two other parts. One of them is determining your sensitivity, and then once you find out how low or high your sensitivity can possibly be, you're going to tweak it depending on your role. Now we're going to go with three types of roles. One is support, one is entry, which is the most skilled of all, and you need to have the highest dexterity. And the final is sniper, which is the one that gives you the most leniency towards low sensitivities. Okay guys. So let's start this test. The first thing we're going to want to do is shoot the wall. Now we have a bullet hole. This is going to be our target that we're going to use to aim at to see how good our sensitivity is for us. This test is based highly around movement, so I suggest you go with the pistol because it's the fastest moving gun that you're actually going to be using in game. Once you do, we're going to set up three different sensitivities. Three, two, and one. This is a base range for most players, so this is what we're going to use. Now, if we find that your sensitivity needs to be lower than 1, we're also going to be able to use a variable of 5, 0.5 or a variable of 4, or not 0.4, a variable of 4 if it's higher than 3. So let me start testing to show you what I mean. Right now my sensitivity is 3, so I'm going to start strafing left and right and trying to keep my crosshair on the target. Here you can see I'm doing a pretty good job at it. It's a little bit shaky, but I'm trying to stay on it as best as I can. Now just walk around all over the place, try to see if you can puke yourself out a little bit, just try to stay on it, and then move it down to two. Remember, each one of these is going to take a little bit of time, because as you switch from one to the other, you're going to have to get used to the sense all over again. So here you can see on two, I'm just slightly accurate, more accurate than I am on three, and move it down to one. I know I'm going through these pretty quickly, but I want to do it for the sake of the video. Here you can see on 1, I'm a little bit more accurate than both 2 and 3, and I'm a lot smoother. So now let's do, uh, let's test it on 0.5, or 0.5, I keep putting 0.5 for some reason, but it's 0.5. Now you're probably not going to want to use a sensitivity this low regardless, because you can't really turn around. Multiple swipes just to get around and do a 360. But we can still test here and see what if we should go below point, if we should go below one sensitivity, or if we should go above. Here you can see, because of the low sensitivity, I'm kind of running out of mouse pad, and I have to have these big swipes to stay on here, even at medium range. And at close range, I'm all over the place. So chances are I'm not going to want to use this, which is fine, because I'm pretty good at two and one sensitivity. So we're going to use that as our variable for this test. Now, if you find that you're more consistent between two other numbers, like if you are more consistent between 0.5 and 1, you might want to use a variable between 1 and 5, which means we're going to average it out. 
but in this case, we're going to go with 1.5. Because this is in between 1 sensitivity and 2 sensitivity. And here you can see I can stay on it pretty well, even up close. And far back. And I can change it to 2. And we can see that it's a little bit less accurate for me because I don't quite have as much dexterity as some players out there. But I'm able to stay on it pretty well. And on 1. Now we're going to take the two best numbers here and we're going to average them so that we go to our next sensitivity. So 1, I am a little bit more accurate than I am at 2, which means 1.5 and 1 are my sensitivities here. So I'm going to take an average sensitivity between both of those. So I'm setting it to 1.25. Now I'm starting to get very accurate. Now at some point the accuracy increase will hardly be noticeable and at that point you're going to want to use the highest sensitivity before you notice any decrease in accuracy. Now while you probably could measure these out indefinitely, you probably don't want to go past the second decimal point. The reason behind this is that you don't actually have the sensitivity built into your muscle memory yet and you're still going to need aim training to perfect it. So it's up to you when you want to stop averaging them out. But yeah, 1.5 I'm doing good and 1.0. I am very easily able to stay on. 1.0 I am, in my opinion, far better. So I'm going to take a, some variable between uh, 1.25 and 1 and do it again. So here we have 1.15. Uh, 1.15 looks pretty good, and we go back to 1, 1 looks better, and then we'll go to, back to 1.25, and we can see that my 1 is definitely stronger than my 1.25. But my 1.15 is hardly. So let's go to 1.07, which is about an average between 1 and 1.15. At some point, you'll get to your, if you keep averaging them, you get to the maximum sensitivity that you can use and still have the same accuracy as the lower sensitivity, which is probably what your better sensitivity is. And in rare cases, it will be the higher sensitivity that's your better one. But uh, here you can see 1.7. I'm pretty good at staying on target. 1.07 rather and then I can go to 1 again and see that I'm about the same I don't really think there's a real hit either way and there is a slight hit at 1.15 so I would say that my sensitivity at 1.07 is about where I should be though 1.15 isn't bad and the extra movement speed to turn around would be nice based on my roll Anyways, feel free to use this as a way to find your sensitivity, and feel free to test it afterwards. Uh, a map like this is really nice for it because it gives you space to move all around, and you have a wall that's pretty far away, and then you can bring back the bots anytime you want and click to them. What am I at? 1.15. Let's uh, go to 1.07 and do some tests. Again, because they're so close, 1.15, 1.07, it's a good chance that either of those sensitivities would be fine for me. And when you don't really find a decrease in skill for your increased sensitivity, you might want to go with the higher sensitivity. That way you have more mobility. Anyways, I hope you liked this tutorial. Have a great day.